the province of East Turkestan, which is the province that they have called Xinjiang. This is their name. In 1947, 47, they, uh, the Chinese government basically uh, invaded this province, which was uh, not under Chinese control, and they occupied it, and they acquired it, and they basically made it a part of China. And the people there, they are more Turkish than they are Chinese. They don't speak Mandarin, they don't speak Chinese. Ethnically, they're different. They're not the Hui Muslim. These are what are called the Uyghur Muslims, okay? And the Uyghurs are a branch of the Turkish people. They are not a branch of the Chinese people. And the Uyghurs have been humiliated. They have been colonized uh, for the last 60 years. And obviously, push has come to shove and the Uyghurs are now fighting back. Of course, they have been fighting for the last 67 years, but especially in the last decade, it's just gone beyond that. Because what has happened is essentially, the Han government has started sending in hundreds of thousands of Han Chinese to take over all the businesses, to control all the government, to rob the lands of the people. So what do you think the people are going to do? Their land, their livelihood, their education has been stripped away, just like you know Israel and Palestine, what's happening there. So what are the Uyghurs going to do? They're doing what any people would do when they have been subdued and humiliated. So when they are now fighting back, the government is saying, oh, Al-Qaeda there, terrorism there, ISIS there even though they have nothing to do with those movements, right? They have nothing to do. They're fighting for their independence, the Uyghur independence. The UN uh, and uh, Amnesty and others have said that this is one of the worst cases of human rights violations since World War II. is taking place right now in that province of uh, Xinjiang or East Turkestan, where essentially the government now has taken the Uyghur people as an enemy. And they are attempting to wipe out Uyghur civilization by force and they're doing this by forcing them to give up their language their culture and of course their religion and the tactics are truly terrifying it will make you your hair grow white mass incarceration the likes of which has not been seen since nazi germany this is what the un has said not thousands, not tens of thousands. It is said hundreds of thousands of people have been rounded up at will and taken into concentration camps. Right now, as we speak, where they are forced to be indoctrinated into the Han culture, Mandarin language, forced to eat pork, forced to not pray, basically cannot live their lives as Muslims. Those that are not taken to the concentration camps Within the uh, Uyghur population, the Han Chinese are now living amongst them. They say we are guests. They'll walk into your house and say we are a guest. What does that mean? You're a government agent and you have the right to occupy the house and live in it at the expense of the host Uyghur. And they're going to monitor that you're not praying, you're not reading Quran, you're not doing anything Islamic. This is like the Inquisition, if you, go, if you know what happened. This is like the Inquisition, when the Catholics would send people to monitor. So the Han government is now doing this to the Uyghur population. Any Han person can say, I want a bride. And the local government there, the Uyghur, which is Han government, will literally hand one of our sisters over and forcibly marry to this man. And nothing can be done. This is a forcible marriage where the goal being to eradicate her identity, her children are going to be Han, she's no longer a Muslim. Sisters who have long skirts, they're being stopped and their, their skirts are being cut in public so that they become mini skirts that you're not allowed to wear. Forget hijab because hijab was banned last year. In the broad daylight, there is a table of food in Ramadan and the Uyghurs are forced to have free lunch on the government. What does that mean? If you don't eat, you will be whipped, killed, tortured, taken away. Everybody is forced to eat. And one of the Uyghur brothers came to me and said his own brother had been arrested and he wants to know the fatwa. Can he eat in the daylight of Ramadan uh, to save his life? Because he is being forced as a teacher, school teacher. They took him in front of everybody and they basically gave him a plate of food in Ramadan. And the government is silent as you know and the local and the world is silent. This is the reality unfortunately. So the least we can do is to 
thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for our own blessings and to make sure that we do whatever we can to help them out in our du'as, in our prayers, in our public awareness. I don't think we can even give money to them at this stage because the government has blocked up everything. So it's really that province where Islam is being clamped down upon. No Jumu'ah, no Ramadan, no Hijab, no Quran. That province, the Xinjiang province.